Working with the Gales on their home, knowing that Kelly designs homes and she wanted to incorporate a lot of this net zero technology so that she could bring this technology and using her own home as a test case into the greater market was tremendous. My husband is like really good to me. He's like, you know, <laughs> design our house. He found this lovely lot and it is a small footprint and everything we need is on the first floor so we, it's perfect for us. Kevin and Kelly chose energy efficiency measures that were not out of the box. They didn't use triple glazed windows. They attained all of this by using just double glazed windows, fiberglass bat insulation. However, they did build an excellent shell. This home is, doesn't have a basement. It's on a slab. So it's, it's a four foot frost walls all the way around and there's four inches of foam, polyester saturate underneath the concrete slab. And there's two inches of polyester saturate separating the concrete slab of the floor from the concrete walls. This home is simple in design and did not require a great great deal of additional air sealing, which you would have had to do with a lot of these other standard production homes. It's very even temperature, you know, so you know, with well insulated, well sealed, probably the ceiling is more important than even the insulation in that regard. So you notice the temperature doesn't vary a lot inside, so it makes it very comfortable. Evan's a geek in a lot of ways. He, he'll look at something and then get off in tangents and try to, like the solar panels. He had to figure out the best panels he could get on there and how to get every inch of the, the roof covered with it and get the best bang for your bucket, you know. Just the, Cat door is the cat door is the same way. He, and I'm like, you can't tell me we can't have a cat door. So he's like, well, I'll I'll figure it out. It's got magnets that keep it closed. So when the dog or cat's not coming and going, it's sealed. So it had a, an energy efficiency label on it, just like any other window with a door. And I've never seen that before. The home is heated all by heat pumps. Uh, we did a multi-system heat pump in the house. So we've got three different heads. There's one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, and one upstairs. So there's a heat pump for the house and a heat pump for the garage. Um, all my friends are jealous about that. Nobody has a cooled garage. <laughs> that was another unique feature because he built the garage as efficiently as he would have built any other energy efficient home. They attain a 52 before incorporating the renewables. So after incorporating the renewable power, the on-site photovoltaics, it dropped the HERS score to negative 14, which is exceptional. One of the other great things about working in this home was it had the full support of Unitil. As the cost of energy goes up and our planet is getting in worse shape, it's very important to be able to build energy efficient homes. Every house should be that way. Every, not even houses, commercial should be that way. It's not jumping through extra hoops. People will spend a lot more money or a lot, do a lot more research on buying an energy efficient car than they will on buying an energy efficient home. Everybody wants to do it. Everybody says they're gonna do it, but they don't. Financially, it's one of the best investments you can make. It was a no-brainer when you looked at the numbers. Why wouldn't you do this? <laughs>